In this video, I will show you the remaining first round demonstrations for the LISEX MindNet. First, we have the leadership example that will be followed by the politics and construction example in tandem. And lastly, it will be the warfare example. And during these examples, I will also try and tell you what the logic is behind when the other players decide to take their strategic action so that you can try to predict that as well for yourself. So let's get into it. In this first round demonstration, we have the leadership card. And with this, we can actually do the secondary of these three other cards that I have placed here, diplomacy, warfare, and technology. So when it gets to be our turn, I want to first gain control of Lysis and Velno, just to be sure that we have some planets we can unexhaust when the diplomacy player decides to play his card. And we move out there with a carrier, three infantry, and a fighter. And I'll skip the exploration just for brevity. Then the other players take their turns. And we could potentially already now play the leadership card just to get our tokens. And we will put a third one into the strategy pool for these three cards. And I'll just put the other two here as tactical actions. And my best guess is that the diplomacy player wants to both do the secondary of warfare and technology. So he will probably pop that strategy card after either the warfare player or technology player has played their cards. So for now he takes control of another system and eventually it gets to be us again. So now we can move out to perimeter with our dreadnought, a fighter and an infantry and explore the planet. And the other players take their turns and finally the technology player decides to play his card. So we want to do the secondary of that. We pay five resources and burn one. And in this example here, I go for psychoarchaeology because that gets us access to hypermetabolism in round two so that we get three command tokens instead of just two. And since we want to do the secondary of diplomacy and warfare and we have looked at their command sheets at Endota and they don't have that many tokens left, so we take the chance and just activate the supernova here and does nothing in the hopes that when it gets to be their turns, they start popping their cards. And this time we were right. The diplomacy player plays his card right after us because he also wants to unexhaust two planets. So we join that, pay one token and unexhaust two planets. And now we really want the warfare player to pop his card as well so we can produce some units on the secondary of that. But if he doesn't, then I would simply activate our home system ourselves, produce units for the seven resources, and then just let them move out in the next game round. So let's say that he keeps waiting, playing that card, and eventually gets to be us. So I do exactly this, activate at home, and then we get to use the agent, so we can replace an infantry with a mech, and then I will use the seven resources to produce a dreadnought, four infantry, and a destroyer. So with this, we gain control of two systems, we research the technology, and we have some units ready to fly out in the next game round. Now let's have a look at how the first round can go if we either pick the politics or the construction card, and I take these two together because I think the actions taken out on the game board will be exactly the same. So first, let's move out to Lysis and Velno, just like before, and everybody else takes their turns, and we could potentially already play our uh, strategy card now, construction so that the other players have less options to where it comes, where they want to place their PDS or space time. And politics, then we will get the speaker token immediately and two action cards that we potentially could use in this game round. So let's do that. And now we have gained either the action cards, the speaker token, or we have gotten a space lock and a PDS out there. I will not show it, but I would place them here. And everybody else takes their turn and gets to be us again. So we can move out to perimeter. And we will move out there with our Dreadnought, an infantry, and a fighter. And what strategy cards we want to do the secondary of very much depends on in which order they actually decide to play those cards. But since we cannot gain control of any more planets in this game round, then I would prefer to follow the technology card so that we get a take in this round to get us closer to unlocking our faction. And since we don't have that many command tokens, then I would actually pass for the for the game round and just wait for the technology player to play his strategy card. So when he eventually does that, we do the secondary of that, exhaust our home planet, and then we can research psychoarchaeology. And that was it for this demonstration. So now we gain control of two systems. We got one technology, but we didn't get to produce any units in our home system. All right, let's have a look at how the first round can be played with the warfare strategy card. We also got diplomacy and technology in the game. 
and the diplomacy player probably wants to do the secondary of both warfare and technology, so chances are that he wants to do his strategic action after either we or the technology player has done ours. So let's see if we can trigger that. So as our first action, we fly out here to Lysis and Wellnow, and we do that with our carrier, three infantry and a fighter, like so. And I'll skip exploration for our brevity. Then everybody else takes their turn and it gets to be us. So we could actually already now play the warfare card and gain this token back. And I'm pretty sure that everybody at the table will be very happy now. But by doing this, then we have secured the four resources we need to research one technology. Um, when the technology player plays his card and by playing this card early then we could trigger the diplomacy player to actually unexhaust some of his planets because he has just used a lot of resources on producing units in his home system right now. That is most likely at least. And if the technology player decides to play his card now then we can use the five resources in our home system and then we can use these four resources to produce units for when we activate our home system. But for now, the technology player waits playing his strategy card and he probably wants to wait as long as possible by doing so. And in this example, I was correct. So the diplomacy player decides to play his card now so that he can probably do the secondary of technology. So we follow that and unexhaust these two planets. And when it gets to be our turn, we can fly out here to perimeter with our dreadnought on infantry and a fighter. And the technology player is still waiting to play his card. So when it gets to be our turn, we can now fly out here to Archon Vale with our carrier, an infantry and a fighter, like so. And we will explore the planet as we do. And now the technology player decides to play his strategy card. So we exhaust these four resources. And in this example, I want to go for hypermetabolism in round two. So I research psychoarchaeology. And that means that we can use this blue text skip planet and this red text skip planet without exhausting them. And especially this one helps us to get our Super Dreadnoughts a little earlier in the game. So when it eventually gets to be our turn, we can activate our home system. And we left an infantry on purpose here, so that we can replace it with a mech on our agent. And then we have five resources to produce a Dreadnought and two infantry for. And that was it for the first round. So we gained control of three systems. We researched the technology and we produced some more units and we even get to use our agent. So this is also a pretty good first round. As mentioned in the faction guide, I don't think there is a strategy card that is so much better than the others when you play the Lysex Mindnet. But I would avoid picking both Imperial and Trade in the first game round. And during the game, I would mostly go for leadership to help with our command token economy and the technology card so that we can research more technologies and get our super dreadnoughts. I hope that you liked this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.